Hello again everyone, Vanguard of Valor here with another episode of Vessel. We're still exploring through the orchard, hoping to find some windmills to fix, some protoplasm to suck up, and maybe see what's caused the fluoros to evolve like they have. Got some more water for us. Excellent. So what have we got here? We have what looks like it might be a windmill. So down we go, I guess. I don't even know what that thing is. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on here. Go see what's out there. <laughs> Do my bidding. Yeah, not enough water there. If I spray some blue in there, will that solve anything? So far, it looks like a no. Ow. That caused that much pain. I'm normally immune to fall damage. Oh, I see. I can drop stuff in from there, too. Well, I'm confused. Using the wrong old spray again. Come on. There we go. Alright, minion. Let's go. Oh, yeah. I gotta coax ya. It ain't enough that I created ya. I gotta feed you the blood of your brothers. Something bad's gonna happen to him when he gets in there, isn't it? I don't know. I'm supposed to go through there, clearly. What am I supposed to do with you now? Like, what's going on here? Am I supposed to explode you in there? Give you too much to drink so you explode and fill these things? Oh, they're buttons! I don't even... How am I supposed to make you hit, hit those? Can't control you well enough. Maybe you are supposed to just explode. Yep, just explode. That was the trick. Tricksy little hobbit. Zoop. Okay. That was sadly not a windmill, but this looks like it definitely is one. Enormous. Why with the water? Oh, just shooting at the little blue fruits. Guess I'm not going to need much water here. Hmm. So what have we got? Tank that drops out them. And it looks like I'm going to have to hit these a specific number of times. Come on. You look really thin. Come get some juice. That has opened two of them. Hmm, and I do have to open all of them, otherwise whatever I drop in just falls out here. Okay, so how am I going to get you? Do I... Ah, I know. No, I didn't do it. Perfect. Now that you're not quite done there. Done. Okay. So just keep in mind, folks, it reminds me about going backwards, because when it goes backwards, it doesn't quite spin the whole thing the whole way around. So let's drop a control node down there, and just for fun, throw some water down. That should do it. Ta-da! Ah, now that I have a tank to hold these guys, they're not made of water anymore. They're made of the blue fluoro juice. Ta-da! That's two out of six. We're a third of the way done. That is an enormous windmill. <laughs> you know, 
thinking about fruit flavored fluoros has made me think of uh, the fact that they're already pretty well named to be a breakfast cereal. Just, uh, you know, fluoros. <laughs> Cheerios, fluoros, perfect. Alright. Either that or you get really sick and oh, I got the fluoro. What's this? Big tree? Water the tree a little bit, see what happens here. I'm guessing you're too big to shake. <laughs> we have to obviously get up there to do something. It wants me to just leave. And that doesn't interest me at all. So let's see what's up here first. We got a little house. Tree mounted research facility. These drinker adaptions express a desire for self-preservation and improvement that I never thought possible in fluoros. They look for the means to increase their mass and replenish themselves. That this behavior often leads to their explosive demise is unfortunate, but is nevertheless useless as well. Useful, <laughs> useless rather, sorry. It will be an enormous benefit if I can position them under the sampler and capture a portable form. Alright, so... This is our blue fluoro sampler. It's not too complicated. All I gotta do is get a blue fluoro to come down here. It should be entirely manageable. You're not right, not quite in the right place there, bud. Perfect. You are now perfectly positioned. All I have to do is not mess that up. Ah! Oh well, at least it's in the right place. It shouldn't move now, because it has no reason to. All I should have to do is manage to hit that switch. Whoa, no! Ah! Dang it. Problem is that pushing right, jumping, and pushing E are all things that the right hand, right side of my hand needs to do. Let's just jump. Oh, I missed it. Man, this is going to be a pain in the butt. Look, I got the hard part done. Fleur is sitting where he needs to be. Why is this so difficult? <laughs> Why are you so hard to do? Here we go, jump! Oh my goodness, he smacked his head on the roof! You idiot, Arkwright. Ark wrong, more like. Ha, <laughs> ha. Okay, that was terrible. Let's come down a little bit lower then, before we jump. There we go. Gotcha. Now I have to walk up the tree again, so that I can ma manipulate the uh, suction. I do almost feel bad for this guy, but... Whatever. Not that bad. Gloop. Ta da! Not, oh, yeah. New lever. Click. And pop me out a new fluoro seed. Ta da! A drinker fluoro seed. I wonder if that means I can make a drinker fluoro out of anything. Not just blue liquid. That would be strange. Here, let's test it. So if I take a drinker fluoro seed, drop one, put water on the ground, does that mean I've made a fluoro that will try and drink water? Yes, it does. Well. That could be problematic in the future. <laughs> Have to see, I guess. What else is up in this big tree? Nothing this way. It's an enormous tree to have nothing of value in it. Aha! Cool. Okay. So let's drop 
Mm, a drinker? I guess it has to be a drinker. I'll feed him some juice. I'll make him out of juice, rather. Problem is, there's gonna be too much juice down the bottom. He's gonna go down there and gorge himself and die. There we go. That was what I wanted. That should be enough. Is it? Apparently not. Okay, well. <sighs> Dang it! Come on! Behave yourself, Fluoros. There's a ton of Fluoro juice down there. It should be more than enough for this Fluoro to want to go get it. There we go. Click! Glad I didn't go up that whole staircase just to find out that I didn't have enough stuff to do it. Here we go. Oh, we're making good progress here. We got our new kind of fluoro seed. We got our new fluoro tank recently, too. We're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. Although I hear there's two colors in this area. Because <laughs> we've seen the red ones. I wonder what happens when the blue and red get together. we got here? We got a switch. And that's just a water tap. Okay, so let's try making a drinker fluoro. Oh no, that's no, it's just a control fluoro. But the <laughs> that wasn't the kind of seed I meant to put in, but I guess it works. Now how am I gonna get rid of them? That is the question. Because that wasn't really what I meant to do. Hmm. I thought I was going to be putting one of these in. But apparently that's not the case. So how do I kill him? That's not going to work. Okay, let's, let's walk backwards and hope it'll let me reset the puzzle. Reset, and back we go. No, he's still there. I need to kill you, but I can't get in there to kill you. I have no lava to kill you with. Okay, let's move on and come back. Oh well. There we go. Manually reset itself. Fill you up with water. Water, I have a great supply. Nope, oops. <laughs> Stupid jumping. Okie dokie. No, how do I get in there to put the water in now, though? I think I must have had the right idea before. Huh. I don't have lava, though. They can't kill this one. Huh. They can't kill him by suctioning him or hitting him. What is this? There we go. Ah, uh, I guess it's because I had full water, eh? That's probably why. So it does have to be a control node for the first one, otherwise... Huh, I was right. Otherwise, you can't get in there to activate the, uh, the slime down for the slime one. But now I need a way to lure him over here. How do I do that? Let's put a bunch of blue slime down. Change to our slime control node. Make some slime and send him in. Hopefully he'll smash him out the way on his run. No, he doesn't seem to care. <sighs> Don't know what 
to do. All I'm doing is wasting my fluids. Ha 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 ha, wasting your fluids. I can make him explode if I throw in enough juice. It might be enough to blast him off there. It was! Ha! I may now be stuck in here, but... We did it! By exploding one of them in there, I managed to knock him out. Alright. Three to six. So the explosive consequences that come with uh, having one of those blue fluoros kill themselves can kill other fluoros. Good to know. Good thing I had enough blue juice, too, because, I mean, I'm pretty low on blue juice now. Hope it'll supply me with some more here. <laughs> it is a well. Pull a ton of water out of it. <laughs> I like how the water sucks the... the uh... Oh, here's another broken windmill. That was close. We're side by side. Ooh, lava. Can I make a feeder... Lava? Come on. What are you doing? Here we go. Blorp. <laughs> okay, not enough juice. Not enough juice. Stop going there and go in there in the corner. That'll help the juice pile up. Okay, I got the right idea, but I'm having a hard time manipulating these things. So what do we got over here instead? Is this side something a little bit less chaotic? No, it's also lava. So let's see, what needs to happen? What we need to have happen is we need to have our lava fluoro and our water fluoro both hit here. And I say lava and water because otherwise we can't make the steam. So I can make lava from either side, we have to pick which one we're going to use. If I make... The trick is how I'm going to make them run across. If I make a feeder... water... Run across to here. Pour water on the ground. I should be able to stop his movement right where I want him. Perfect. Now all I have to do is get the lava one to run through. So I'll put my lava seed back down. And that should be enough to make him. Now all I have to do is run over to the other side and get him to run through. Not sure if this will be enough to make him run through. Looks like it is, though. Up oh. and steam happens. Perfect. Thanks for being so complying in your own demise. <laughs> Here we go. Windmill number four fixed. I still find it weird that now even though we're outdoors, there's not a soul to be seen. It's an oddly dead place. It's full of interesting fluoros and all kinds of strange machines, but all of the people are gone. I can't help but find that disconcerting. Oh good, more blue stuff. Oh, and more red stuff. Binary liquids. Let's see. Strangely, the fluoros that fall from the trees in this orchard appear in two varieties. Red and blue, made of substances that appear to be chemical comp complements to each other. What's more, these chemicals have all been part of an active fluoro at one point, amplifying the chemical energy they contain. Unlocking that energy could provide great benefits in the right situation. 
and great hazards in the wrong. So apparently these guys should not be mixing together. What happens if I just throw a feeder seed in there? Obviously it's going to explode. It's too much. Too much goop around. Let's try the chaser seed. A chaser seed. Because this is going to end badly, I think. Oh! Oh god! It exploded. Okay, I made purple, exploded, and killed me. <laughs> well, I was right. It was a bad idea. I have a control node of red and a control node of the blue. Probably nothing bad. They don't have anything to do. And yeah, they're just chilling out there. It explodes, all right. What happens if I make a red, the blue fluoro? <laughs> you can make one of both colors. Ow! I'm guessing no, or at least not easily. But I mean, this is this is the place to do the testing if you want to find out. That explosion explosion is fairly violent, though. By fairly violent, I mean really violent. Yeah, no, I don't think you can, because they explode too quickly. Let's move on and see if it uh, gives us anything else to do over here. Hmm. Red. Can't go up. Something in there we can't get to. Maybe I'm supposed to make a red... No, I can't make feeder fluoros out of red, because I'll be able to get them through there. What can I do here? What does this do, actually, come to think of it? Turn... Blue. Okay. So I am supposed to use blue here. And not that one. Feeder. No, nope, not water. Blue goop. Of course, running through the red will kill you. But it will give me the opportunity... ...to turn the red... Ah! <laughs> that blast was powerful! It killed me through the floor! Oh, now I have to do it again. Control nodes. Okay, feeder node. Drop. No, not with water. Blue goop. While you're being made. Turn on the blue goop dispensary. Let them explode in peace. Turn off the red goop dispensary. Off. Seriously though, if that explosion is like that every time, I get the feeling we're in for a very dangerous boss. Because it killed me from like, that far away through a floor. <sighs> dangerous stuff. Now we should hop up and hit this lever for me and uh, I can go on my merry way. Ta-da! Alright, well, thanks for watching everyone. This has been Vanguard of Valor, puzzling our way through another episode of Vessel, and I'll see you again soon. Thanks, and bye.